This is a HeadGum Original. Jake and Amir, two Jews that you can't forget. In 2010, they were big on the internet. And all things considered, their success is more than fair. <laughs> now here's one more effort for only positive motivations, they swear. Another podcast, each app different from the last. It's the Swiss Army knife of show. Meet your two emphatic hosts. I'm ready to go back to being insulted. Yeah, it's too much. It's too nice. It's too good. It's too positive. And now the 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 backlash to the backlash has now becoming overwhelming. Mm, so okay. the, the original theme song was nasty to us, and people were like, "It has to be nicer to you." Right. And now people are mad at this new nicer theme song. Yeah. Let's react to the reaction and send it back and action. put the old one back in action. <laughs> That's really good. What yeah. about a third one? Ooh. Yeah, we'll just keep on making Ferris do this and say yes. it's all it's all included in the original fee. It's all inclusive. <laughs> it's yes. all inclusive. If you read the fine print Ferris, you'll yeah. know. We have unlimited revisions <laughs> and unlimited time. Yes. So we're requesting yet another revision, which is in the original scope <laughs> of the work. Which you did do for internship experience, yes. if you remember. $5.25 per hour. Yes. And we build it at a half an hour of work. Mm -hmm. So right. you receive two seventy five dollars in kind yes. to and, create. And did you not get a lunch stipend? Or at the very least, you had <laughs> access to the pantry where we have free snacks. I actually saw him taking a granola bar home. And I, I slapped it out of his hand. Good. Because I said you were taking advantage of our did hospitality. Did you not take it home? Because I heard he took one and I, and I invoiced him for it. You know what he I did? Sent I him, slapped it out of his yeah. hand and he grabbed it and he scurried, scurried off. I didn't off. even see like where he went. Ferret? I think he went to a fucking like hole a ferret. Or something. Ferret. <laughs> I think he went to a ferret wheel or a Ferris wheel That's... or a Manchi house or something like <laughs> oh my that. God, it was all way, way, way too much. Yeah, way too much, way too soon, way too crass, way too blue, way too tacky. Mm -hmm. So what he mm -hmm. does owe us is yeah. a third, third option slash not iteration. Final. Let's not call it third it's and not final. A final. It's not though. polished. It this is not is a just, final. It's not yes. on vinyl. Yeah, this is just an yeah. iteration. It, it's an iteration. And I'm wondering if it should be somewhere that splits the difference where it's like not necessarily mean or not necessarily right. nice. Kind, yeah, just a neutral theme. A neutral theme. A neutral. It's not positive or negative. It's yeah. just meet your two hosts. Host. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like In that. In 2010, they were fine <laughs> on the internet. internet. Yeah. yeah. That's that's perfect. Yeah. Sort of a, a, a neutral theme hotel, if that makes sense. Right. Yes. yes. Instead of a neutral milk hotel. Oh, yeah, I guess that is yeah. a band. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, welcome to Segments. We're still in the lab slash studio. That's why you feel a palpable energy. That's true. Uh, so if you're watching us, this is the episode to start, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Or I guess if you're listening, this is the episode to start watching, watching us. We're on the YouTube, so you can watch this entire thing and all of our episodes, really. Mm -hmm. um, we got some great segments today. We do. We One of them... Do. I'm most excited about, and it's a it's a little true or false game okay. that I've uh, concocted. It's a quiz. It's a quiz lit. It's a pop quiz, really, because really? you don't know that it was coming. No. And I'm telling you right now, this is a true or false game. Yeah. And if you get them all right, which you won't do. Yeah. There's it's impossible. It's yeah. like the idea of calling twenty coin. How many? In a how row. many questions are there? Probably like ten or so. Okay, I could get those all right. I'll even give you nine. If you get nine of ten correct, yeah, I will um, kiss your ankle on video. So like it's sort oh, of like I a really that. demeaning thing. Yeah, like, there'll be a video of me just kissing your ankle, uh -huh. and you can just be checking your phone. So like, <laughs> yeah, it'll go viral as like something I did. It'll go viral. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my god, what the hell is happening here? That's yeah. so weird. That's kind of fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think. For it to be I really just want to kiss your foot. <laughs> yeah. For it to be interesting to me, I would need you to post it on your Instagram. So a video of me kissing your ankle on Instagram. Yeah, okay. Right. okay. And I'll do that if you get nine out of 10 correctly. All right. And, I, and no consequence if I don't, because it's obviously way too hard. Yeah, it's way too hard. All right, great. Although now that I think about it, these are kind of <clears throat> a little bit easy. All right. Really? Are, is there a theme? 
Uh, no, it's just sort of weird facts that I've either created or found by asking people or searching the web. Okay. And I really want that ankle kiss. And it sounds like you want it. <laughs> so, so is there a world where we just start with the fucking kiss, get it out of the way, yeah. then we can do the whatever well, the let's, kiss? Let's kiss the ankle, let's take the video, and then it will be posted if I get nine. But we you get the just... first two wrong, and it's like, <laughs> all right. Shit. Well, now we let's have start the kiss. over. <laughs> we get two mulligans and I can do eight out of ten. Yeah. So six out of ten, which is still slightly above random, which is, which is pretty fine. good. Which is actually pretty good. iPhone has a trash. iPhone has a trash. So you know how in your computer you can drag things to the trash? Yeah. Your iPhone also has a trash. True or false? Um, well, I know there's the recently deleted photos. Mm -hmm. So that is... It, in a way, a trash. In a way, but, a like, trash. Does your entire phone, like all of the photos, any app, when you delete yeah. it, it all goes into this folder called the trash folder. No, I'll say I'll say that's false. That's correct. That was false. Okay. iPhone does not have a trash. Right. Okay. Great. Why don't you kiss my knee here. now, <laughs> and you'll work? We'll work your way down. <laughs> For every question I get right, you kiss one inch lower on my leg, <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll finally get to the most embarrassing spot, mine ankle. <laughs> But kissing my calf is fine. Mid shin, that's okay. And if you get it wrong, I go up. <laughs> if I win, I get all the way to your shoulder to kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Which is embarrassing for you. <laughs> Data has weight. Huh? A full hard drive weighs more than an empty hard drive. Oh, I think that's true. That is false. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I have to be perfect the rest yeah. of the time. Uh. And technically, it has like an, an an electron, but those things are basically weightless. So okay. a full uh, hard drive weighs as much yeah. to us as right. An that's empty a one. good that's a good fact because yeah. I would have thought it was like barely in like it's imperceptibly heavier. Yeah, but I I would have believed that. Yeah. Okay. okay. We have taste buds elsewhere on our body, not just our tongue. Um, so like I could taste something with my dick. Uh, I didn't say that because <laughs> that's definitely false. But the things that we know to, uh, know as taste buds uh -huh. that we assume are only on our tongue actually exist elsewhere in our bodies. Um, it sounds like I'll regret saying this because it's so that's so out there to me that I can't think that it's true. And I'm gonna say false. It's true. Yeah, we do have taste buds elsewhere in our body. Did it say yeah. where? Yeah, they said uh, it's definitely in other parts of your mouth, like your cheeks and the palate of your mouth. Not that you can necessarily Wait taste, a second. Wait but a second. you have taste buds there. How did you How did you phrase this question? You have taste buds elsewhere in your body. Elsewhere in your body, yeah. other than I wouldn't. I I thought we were talking about other than mouth. The tongue. Okay, but there of are of course there's yeah in your in I will your say mouth. there's some in your anus. No. Yeah, that's what I found that there are some in your anus, and then the the follow up question was like, so you can taste stuff with your anus, and it's like, no, not necessarily because it's okay. not like direct linked fine, to your brain fine, fine. okay let's just call the first three ones practice because honestly data has weight yeah. also was very like kind of 50 50 as the stuff I right found okay if i if i run a perfect game from here i get that ankle kiss okay the the next few ones are uh, objective they're okay. not like kind of a gray area like that but okay. again if you learned one thing it's that data has weight that's so uh electronically insignificant that it doesn't and mm -hmm. you do have taste buds in your anus but you can't actually taste with them right you can't take you can't taste with your ass don't try that at home correct okay here's one that's very cut and dry dogs are the most popular pet in america in america are dogs more popular than cats more popular than snakes more popular than gerbils and goldfish i think fish might be more popular than dogs let's go ahead and say false it's true i know it's true <laughs> but we can't be talking about per capita per volume people probably have more fish than dogs because if you have one fish one you have a dozen too yeah are they even counting fish uh, I don't. If think I run so. a perfect game from here, I do so have to lick only your toe. Three... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far you're technically one of four. Okay, that's which not is bad. honestly more impressive than going like three of four because mm -hmm. you're doing really, really poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Beets are known as nature's multivitamin. <laughs> 
No, I don't think they are at all. Because beets are not that good. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. Eggs are known as nature's multivitamin. Good on nature. Eggs. There once was a president named John Tyler. Uh, that sounds familiar. I'll go ahead and say true. That's correct. Nice. He was our 10th president. 10th. Not bad. What did Johnny T get up to? Uh, he killed himself <laughs> really? in the White House. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Only president to do that. Wow. Electrocuted himself to death. Didn't hear about that more. Kind of neat. Yeah. You mostly hear about the assassinations. There once he self-assassinated. Really? Only president to do yeah. that. Is it an assassination if a world leader kills? Like, did Hitler assassinate himself? No, I don't think. That's correct. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> there once was a vice president named George Clinton. Ooh. <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> Jake's going to think about this for a second. Now, that's fascinating. Did he have a pet fish? He did. It. Oh, maybe he's not real so i can't say either way <laughs> oh did you try to trip me up with a fake <laughs> fake oh i don't I, i'll say no there was not <laughs> now you're sipping nervously that's really tricky no there was not a vice president named george clinton yeah false that's incorrect it's true there was a vice president named george clinton when in the early 1800s i should have known that it sounded familiar at this point, Am I'm I... afraid I won't even shake your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally, I'm, I'm out on this kiss, aren't I? <laughs> it's just not going to happen It's not going to happen for me. Three left. Okay. And they're fun. Yeah. Butterflies were originally called flutterbys. <laughs> That's, no. <laughs> no, they were not. Oh, wait, but flutterby, <laughs> they do flutterby. They do flutterby, don't they? <laughs> but do they butterfly? Mmm, flutterbys. Were they originally called flutterbys? I think you could phone a friend. Can I? Can I call Ben again? <laughs> um, it sounds too cute, too cheeky, and for some reason, I just don't buy it. I'll say false. That is correct. All right. That was from Abital, who actually did think that they were called flutterbys, but then when we looked it up. That's just an old wives' tale. Wow. But honestly, they should be called flutterbys. I guess so. Because butterflies makes no sense. Right. Flutterbys is perfect for them. Yeah. Butterfly. Uh, yeah, no. Like, what? What is that talking about? It's a nothing It's burger. a flutterby, yeah. 51 is a prime number. <laughs> Remind me what a prime number is? It's, it's uh, like a number like that's seven not... that's only divisible by itself and one. Oh, Ten yeah. Ten is not a prime number because it's yeah. divisible by five, two... Uh, true. 51 is a prime number. Yes. It's only divisible by one I and itself. I literally can't think of anything else that would even remotely divide 51. Uh, it's incorrect. Yeah. 51 like, is not. Yeah, totally. three. Three. Yeah. I know. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, like three. 48 is a divisible by three. 45 yeah. is divisible by three. And 51 yeah. is divisible I know, by three. But what would you divide it by? 17 and three. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. Correct. Yeah. Then we agree. Mm -hmm. Kiss last one. My soul <laughs> on my shoe. Lick my watch. <laughs> and watch my lick. <laughs> nice. A flutter by style. Last one. Yeah. And this one's really cheeky. Yeah. Nothing's right, I'm torn. In Brooklyn. I'm all out Nothing. of faith. This, this is, is how I feel. feel. Torn by Natalie and Bruglia is a cover. That's Imbruglia <laughs> slander. You're calling that song unoriginal? It's not a cover. That is false. Incorrect. <laughs> Natalie. In the early 90s. Natalie, you lied to me! <laughs> Let me get this right. But Natalie Imbruglia covered Torn. Oh, my God. By a band in the... Uh, the early 90s mm -hmm. um called gosh oh edna swap edna swap edna swap interesting yeah uh that's that's crazy edna's edna's wap um, edna swap nat uh torn uh it sounds almost entirely like uh natalie and bruglia's version i don't know why just like eight years later she covered it and mm -hmm. it was such a hit yeah but I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, I just lost a lot of respect for Miss Imbruglia.
Yeah, this sounds like Imbruglia doing a more metal version of her song. Yeah. Seemingly identical. Man, great song. Really great, great song. song. Yeah, I couldn't believe it was a cover. Also yeah. from Avital. So thanks to Avital. Thanks to you. I think you got less than half correct. Yeah. The no, George Clinton sure. one was certainly incorrect. 51 yeah. a prime number. The dog thing. It was a bad start and you didn't stick the landing no. either. Yeah. I, I, a kiss was on the line <laughs> and I botched it. Yeah. I think your big, your hottest streak was beats not being a no, nature's multivitamin. Yeah. And John Straight Tyler. into John Tyler. Right. Which and was really I good. I think those were the only ones I got. Flutterbys was correct. You oh, got yeah. that one right. Flutterbys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Although that one is honestly Borderline should be true. Right. That was fun. No, it wasn't. Playing. No, it wasn't. That was embarrassing to me. That was, yeah. That was, it was hard to play the math thing. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't right. Yeah. You embarrassed me. <laughs> <laughs> you came at me. You set me up to fail. <laughs> you knew I wasn't going to do well there. That's why you put the kiss on the line oh, because fine. you knew I wanted it and you knew punch. you weren't going to have to do it. So now I'm sad that I'm not getting kissed. <laughs> I'm sad that I looked pretty stupid on camera in front of Casey. In <laughs> on front Reddit, of, for sure. On, yeah, yeah, in front of a lot of people. Yeah. And the one thing I got right was the the dog thing. You didn't get the dog thing. You said that's, fish. Yeah. That's pretty messed up. <laughs> that's pretty messed up. And Torn is one of my favorite songs. And now I actually know a fact that I wish I didn't. Yeah. That's one of the worst parts. Sorry. It's whatever. Funny. And we've returned. Indeed. Um, finally, another tale of illness. Um, another body woe story. Yeah, you were, we were supposed to do something on Friday, and then on Thursday, you mm -hmm. got violently ill. Yeah. Um, I got food poisoned, everybody. I thought... By the end of the story, it was not food poisoning. But let's I'm take now us back around to okay. thinking it was okay. food poisoning. So, so take us to the start, the beginning. Okay. So very beginning. Yeah. I'm, first of all, just feeling on top of the world. You're in My, L.A. for a week. I'm in L.A. The sun is shining. Things are good. Mm -hmm. We've got the baby. We've got Jill. Jill's mom is visiting. She's looking after the baby. That's We're like, good, yeah. oh, you know what? Let's, wow, we don't even do this back at home. Let's go get breakfast together. That's nice. We go off. We get coffee. Yeah. Um, we eat raw eggs. We, we eat raw It was salmon. a really cute interaction that food poisoned us in the first place. Yeah. We're ordering. And Jill's like. It was like, a food poison cute. Yeah, she yeah. was like, "Oh, uh, can I? I'll, can I have a glass? Uh, can I do some orange juice?" Yeah, and uh, and I was like, "Ooh, that sounds good." And then she said, "Do you want one?" And I said, "I'll just drink some of hers." And we like, get, it was cute. I did a little it, fucking it, nose, yeah, Eskimo an Eskimo kiss, kiss. yeah. Um, <laughs> And I was like, oh, that's sweet. We're going to split an orange juice. Mm -hmm. This, remember this, because that is what killed it's us. It's a sliding doors moment that yeah. ruined your life. Right. Irreparably so. It, absolutely. So we we, we then inevitably have um, a, a kind of awkward interaction about the orange juice even a few minutes later because the lady forgets the orange juice. Oh, wow. She was almost trying to cosmically save you. Yeah. Her. Forgot the orange juice. We're standing there with our coffee. Jill's like, should I ask, um, like... Yeah, like you can ask. Yeah. She goes up. She kind of is getting ignored by everybody that's working there. Yeah. She says, excuse me. Somebody walks by her. <laughs> uh, I, I really like the it, juice she contemplates leaving. Just leaving the yeah. juice. Um, and then she like gets this lady's attention, asks about the juice. And then the lady kind of acts like she hadn't forgotten about the like, juice. No, I got like, you. Yeah, like you're yeah. being impatient. But like she was making matcha. Yeah. She had forgotten about the juice. She was okay. already past yeah. you guys' order. But definitely kind of wanted to make Jill feel bad about the interaction. So we get the juice. Not, nothing's going to ruin our day. No. We drink. We sh we go off. We get a pastry at the. How does it work door. with coffee and juice? Are you like entirely juice and then you move on? Or can you switch back and forth? Those are two very different drinks. Yeah, it's I I would normally in my if it's if it's me I would drink some orange juice, you know, kick off the day, yeah. palate cleanse with some water and then coffee, like a shot. Yeah, um, but it was Jill's juice and I was just going to have some of it. Yeah. So it's I, Jill's juice. We're just yeah. living in it. I just ignored it entirely. I ate a croissant. I drank my coffee. And then kind of midway through, Jill like poured some juice into her empty coffee cup mm. and gave it to me. Interesting. Okay. Um, I downed the juice. It was great. Good juice. Um, Juice-wise, it was fine. We're going to the car. Juice-wise, it was fine. It was yeah. good. <laughs> so um, good. 
And, you know, I was a little worried about the citrus in the coffee, but it didn't, it, it was fine. It was no great. heartburn, no duty in the pants situation. No, um, but we're going to the car and Jill's like, I think I drank the coffee too fast. My stomach hurts. Oh, interesting. That um, quickly. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's, you know, you're fine, whatever. That's cool. You yeah. sort of gaslit her to make her think yeah. that Don't she was worry. actually fine. Don't yeah. worry, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Your stomach doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. You're uh, often complaining about shit. Yeah. It turns out to be kind of all right. <laughs> uh, so I drop her off at home. Everything's good. I come in. Uh, I believe we re we recorded a podcast with Jeff. Mm. Um, nice to know you can go back and watch that one and just sort of see if there's you can any see, signs. At the end, I was starting to feel drag. like, I yeah, it was like uh, slow. My I was like, okay, yeah. I feel a little, I feel a little off. Yeah, um, which is what Jill felt as soon as you guys yeah, left. Yeah, but it almost felt like I just had like brain fog or something. Like, just like I maybe even I had had too much caffeine or something. Mm. But then I had that meeting with me, you, and uh, Marty. Uh, I'm sort of starting to fade a little bit. Yeah, I'm I noticed like, that. You were sort of hunched over. You didn't want to shoot the basketball. I didn't want to shoot the basketball. Yeah. I was sitting there. I was just sitting. You guys were shooting basketball. I was just sitting. Yeah. Then you guys all went to lunch. Yeah. And I was like, well, I have to go to the, I got to go to the Valley. I got to go record. I'm not going to yeah. eat anything. But I, I was breakfast just like, tacos. Yeah. And you weren't even interested. No, I wasn't hungry. And I, you weren't hungry. Feeling... You think it was because of the ill effects of the juice situation? I was, yeah. At that point, I was like, I think... I, my, there's something off in my stomach. And I, at that point, was thinking, like, maybe it was something that we ate this morning. But I'm like, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Did your brain flash to Jill also not feeling well or no? Uh, no, I didn't even really think about that. Okay. I was just like, I bet I just need to, like, take a shit and everything's going to be fine. Yeah. Um, then I drive, as I'm driving to the Valley to record an ad pod, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> my eyes are glazing over. Oh. I'm like... I kind of start to have the chills. Kind of like when you got that tetanus shot. Yeah. And I'm like, man, should I like bail on this other recording? But then I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I got to show up. I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to not record. Especially because when it's internal like that, it's hard to like tell people like, I just feel a little weird. Yeah. If it's like an open sore, then they can yeah. see it. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't ready to cancel. It was just like I feel weird. I didn't feel <laughs> sick. I was like, I feel weird. Something's happening, but maybe. Maybe it's just one of those, you know, sometimes you get that fog after lunch. Yeah. You're like, but you didn't eat. No. Yeah. But like, you know, sometimes you get some brain fog and you just shake it off and you feel fine. Yeah. Like you ate too much. Or yeah. Something. So I thought that was going to happen. Uh -huh. uh, but I get there. We recorded. Oh, wow. Got the full episode. Wow. Um, but as we were ending, I was just like, I stood up and I was like. I have to go home. I think something is happening to me. And they had no idea you didn't feel well at all during No, the they were surprised. So I think I like I my adrenaline was going and I was able to like role play and be in in the zone in Interesting. that Interesting. So you weren't really feeling the ill effects while recording. No. I mean, I was feeling like I was feeling like a weird like buzz throughout my body, but mm -hmm. not like I wasn't feeling faint or tired yet. Okay. Um, and at this point, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I think I probably have some kind of light food poisoning is what I keep on saying in my head. Yeah. Light food poisoning, yeah. which is not serious. And I probably just need to like take a nap and I'll feel fine. Because it's, <laughs> it's light food sick, poisoning. Yeah, yeah. If I was sick, I would have been way sicker than this. Yeah. But I also know that Jill, if I texted her and I, says, I, and I say, I feel weird, do you – if she doesn't, she will suddenly be like, oh, my God, do I have food poisoning? Yeah, I'm yeah. scared. Now I start to feel sick. So I just Munchausen text Munchausen by proxy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I text her, <laughs> how are you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel great. Yeah, just no context. Like, how are you doing? Um, and she texted me back that she's feel. She's like, I feel so sick. Uh, green pukey emoji. My mom is with Gemma. Like, I'm in bed. Wow. She didn't text you that. She waited for you to reach out. Yeah. I mean, I don't think she had the strength to text me that earlier because it knocked – she had way more of this juice than yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, so it knocked her out. Um, and then I'm driving home. And, and at that like, point, uh -oh, I'm like – The opposite. Yeah. Her like, green puke emoji is like, oh, shit. I'm, I'm it's like, coursing I'm through your swaying. Veins. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the HOV lane, even though I have just me in the yeah. car. I'm just trying to, I you need to You have to, to assume home. Giardi is a fucking yeah. passenger at this point. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, this the, is you the parasite the in my stomach, <laughs> yeah. that counts as yeah. a person. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so I get home, I walk in, Jill's mom is there with Gemma. Gemma's like smiling, <laughs> reaches for me. I'm like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> hey, sweetie. And I like, didn't even don't even have the energy to like take my clothes off just like go in 
fall into the bed and I just start like moaning. I'm like, ah, uh, full body uh, or stomach. I, it's, you know, I famously have never had a stomach ache before, right? Yeah. You know, uh, Jill's mom said that the next day and I yeah. said, isn't that patently at false? Cause you had food poisoning in Paris. You also had some sort of diarrhea yeah. slash stomach issue in Mexico when we were together, but it's never manifested as a stomach ache for me. Okay. It always feels like my head feels really tired and I feel like dizzy up in my you head. You never had a pain in your stomach. No. Got it. Um, Say for like, if I, I guess if I'm running, I felt like, uh, I felt like what it feels like to have a cramp, cramp right cramp, here. Yeah. Um, but this was the first time yeah. I had, I, there was like, it was somebody who was like wringing my stomach right. out. Which is like maybe gas or something like that. Yeah. So I, so I'm lying down. Uh, and just, I'm like, oh, I want like this is this will pass, this will pass. It's not, just it's not food shit poisoning or food diarrhea. Poisoning. Yeah. Get rid of it somehow. Uh, but then I stood up and I'm like, I think I might throw up. Uh-huh. I think I might throw up to <laughs> like two seconds later, <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking geyser coming and out of my mouth. And it's what food? Because you didn't have anything since the juice and the croissant. Uh, it it was dinner the night. I mean, there were just- Is it any... possible it was dinner the night before and not the juice? Because Jill felt it instantly. Yeah, I really think it was the juice. What did you have for dinner well, the night before? Dare um, I ask? Uh, raw chicken. That's what it was. Yeah. And it no, had to have we, been. Because Jill's mom, ate, she ate dinner with us yeah. and she was fine. Yeah. Um, the, it, the only thing that just Jill and I ate was this juice. The juice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also believe that like, you just know in your heart what it, like your body just is telling you what it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I start, I start violently puking that kind of, I, <laughs> I, I sleep for 20 or 30 minutes at a time, wake <laughs> up, throw up, uh, from like 4 PM until, uh, the middle of the night. And then yeah. I slept until like nine. Um, <laughs> On and off puking. Jill also. Jill. Jill never. She has an aversion to throwing up, and she is able to like shut Keep her body down. Yeah, interesting. But the body needs to throw up. It's like a good thing to throw up. Yeah, she just she can't do it. Okay. Um, but she never. So she never threw up. Uh, and she was also like a bit more sturdy than I was. Yeah. Like I saw her the next day, and you were still at home convalescing. Yeah. yeah. And even that night, I think at one point I like woke up in a daze, and I like saw Jill like. Uh, washing Gemma's bottle. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't <laughs> do that. Dead. <laughs> we should be dead together. <laughs> I really like. We should be dead together. <laughs> uh, if Jill's mom weren't here, Gemma would just be crawling over our corpses. Like, I don't know what. <laughs> like she, a cat eating done. you guys. Yeah. Um, really have no idea what she would have done because I did not have the strength or wherewithal yeah. to even like be aware of where she was. Yeah. Um, I guess if Jill's mom was was not there maybe i would have sprung into action but it sounds no. like jill would have yeah jill yeah. would have, have handled it um so yeah then the next day micah comes and you feel emptier but better yeah i even recorded on friday um, oh, wow. but i was like i was just grateful to not be throwing up yeah. you know i felt like a little hollow a little fragile Almost like I had been really hung over the day before. Or right. Something. But now you're okay. But now I'm like, okay. We were supposed to play tennis on Friday and you're like, I'm in yeah. a weakened state. That w- that couldn't have happened. But I'm just coming back online, you yeah. know? Um, we, Micah comes, we all hang out. Yeah. We <laughs> order dinner. The next day, we have a great day. This is Saturday. Uh-huh. He like, um, he, he and I go on a run around the reservoir. Wow. Things are good. We're like uh-huh. looking forward to the weekend. It's going to be great. We cook dinner. We barbecue on uh, Friday night <laughs> or no Saturday night. Uh, and we're like, okay, let's tomorrow. Jill and Mike are going to go to yoga at 8 a.m. I'll hang out with the baby. <laughs> then we're going to go vintage shopping. Then we're going to meet up with Ben. Uh, just have this whole entire day planned. Uh-huh. It's really great. <laughs> Wake up in the morning to just hear Micah puking his brains out. <laughs> okay. So at this point, you got to think it's not a food poisoning. Right. Situation. And so Jill is like, I think we orders. have uh, norovirus, yeah. which is like a stomach bug that's really contagious. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Micah. 24 hour bug. Yeah. And Micah is just puking. He's in a sorry state. We yeah. feel awful. And We're you're like, like I know oh, what wow. you feel like. I felt like that three yeah. days ago. And he's like, when did, like, when did you stop throwing <laughs> up? And I was <laughs> like, um, I think you have another hour. You should be done. Um, so, so I feel awful for him. You he know? flew into a disease. Yeah, flew yeah. into a disease. New York to LA. I, like, come stay Sick. with us. We'll take care of yeah. you. Um, but I instantly kill him. Mm-hmm. 
um, all of our plans are just gone. They're not going to happen. Yeah. Um, and that was when we started thinking that we had this norovirus thing. So why do you think it's back to food poisoning? Well, because then I texted everybody, mm -hmm. texted the D and D crew. I'm like, yeah. I had spent the entire day with them. I'm like, yeah. okay, I might have just given everybody a stomach flu. How is everybody feeling? But yeah. nobody else is sick. Interesting. Jill's mom's not sick. Yeah. Um, Gemma's fine. Gemma's fine. Which apparently, uh, when you have this, when you have um, a flu like this, the mom like actually creates uh antibodies in the breast milk wow. and feeds them to the baby wow which is really magical and that's awesome. nice to hear so yeah Gemma's like with jill but is protected through yeah. the breast milk um but then we realized that micah the one thing he did was shower in our bathroom because we have a really awesome shower <laughs> do you think it was from the juice to the shower to Mike? I think it was, yeah. So what I've looked up since then is yeah. that food poisoning actually is contagious. Interesting. Um, you can get contaminated from something you eat and then the contaminated person can infect others through their germs. Oh, interesting. I thought you had to ingest this That's like, thing. That's what I thought you. too. But there are, I guess, certain strains or something yeah. where like I basically have the virus um, and or the bacteria or whatever yeah. and micah can ingest it I, it doesn't have to be that i give him food yeah um and i think it can be spread through surfaces so yeah. I, it's the bathroom where i'm throwing up for an entire night you think he goes and takes in there he like takes a, a shower if he touches a single thing in there it's He's infected done. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i'm back to thinking it was this Jeez. damn juice but it also could have been like an airborne thing that like somebody at the juice place gave you. Anything's possible, but I think it was this lady with the damn juice. Do you think you're going to have orange juice anytime soon? I almost went back to the same coffee shop yesterday. And? Micah talked me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best coffee in LA. And what are you going to do instead? Uh, well, today I went to Verve, which which is also really good. It's just yeah. far away. Yeah. Plus, you might not be able to get norovirus there. Yeah, that's that's the issue. I wonder if- It's almost can, worth it. It's worth the risk. Can you get it again this fast? Or is it like uh, you have immunity now, like COVID? Yeah, well, norovirus, you you have immunity. But I don't know if it's if it's me ingesting fecal matter or whatever. Right, uh, that, can, that, that might... can happen ad nauseum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might. I don't know. And it might add nauseum yeah. to you. So I don't want to risk it. It's not worth it. No. Though it was almost worth it. I was talked out of it. Yeah. I thought it was worth it. And, and Mike could <laughs> And yeah, trust him. literally to die for this yeah. orange juice slash coffee situation that you love so much. I'll never get the orange juice again. Never. Jill poisoned you. Yeah, it was her fault. <laughs> and I made her very aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to my brother screaming. <laughs> know you that it originated this. with you. And you protected Gemma with the breast milk, didn't you? <laughs> Actually, Micah could have used that breast milk almost yeah. like as a If we could have known. I don't know. If, I don't know if it works like that. Yeah. I don't know if it works like After that. After the fact. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. But now Micah seems fine. You feel fine. What doesn't kill you make you stronger style. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was hurting for like two or three days even. Yeah. But he bounced back a lot faster than I That's did. That's nice. And now that he's in the office, we can track it even further. Like maybe he gave it to somebody here and we can yeah, interview let's, them. We'll keep an eye on everybody. Yeah. Because yeah, if he gets someone else sick, then it's definitely norovirus. <laughs> we know it's not from the juice. Yeah. And then I can go back and get my favorite coffee, which would be awesome. Yeah. Well, what I w want just to wrap this whole story up is like, you know how there's COVID tests? Yeah. Why can't there be like flu tests? Like I was sick in July, uh, January. Yeah. I had the flu. Or It'd so be I nice thought, to know. I, what what flu did I have? And they're like, yeah, you can go to an urgent care and take a test. But I'm like, I, I was feeling like you were feeling like I can't even walk to the bathroom, let alone yeah. drive to Echo Park right now. Right. Yeah. Give me an at home anything test. They, yeah. I want to swab. It's like it's poop, obviously poop, not a poison, priority poop. for them, and I don't. Because they're busy why. with like the cancer stuff. Or? I guess, but they they. they they did COVID, COVID was a priority fast. and they did it so fast with yeah. the COVID tests. I know. And like so the urgent care has the access to the tests. It's yeah. Like, oh, I tested positive for influenza type A or B. Right. Give me an at-home version of that shit. Yeah. Well, you just have to befriend a doctor that has the test. I took the strep throat test back when I had the, the cold sore, the wart, the, yeah, yeah. the canker in my yeah. throat. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, they were able to do a the strep fissure throat. in your sphincter. Yes. My fissure sphincter. Mm -hmm. What I ended up happening was I got it in my asshole. My taste bud got infected down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a little taste bud that got like well, you can inflamed. Taste down there. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. That's right. That's why butt chugging was so popular. <laughs> uh, all right, good segment, good story. I'm Thanks. glad you're feeling better. Me too. Hands up. All right, we're back. Yo, uh, recording some Jake and Amir episodes next week. That's right. That's right. It's big uh, March Madness number what? 
9, nine? 10, 11? Wow. I can't wow. even keep track at this wow. point. Um, but yeah, it's the perfect Our second timing. one back from being back, right? Yeah, we took a hiatus from our hiatus. Mm -hmm. And now it lined up perfectly with March Madness. March That's is right. right around the corner. That's right. These ones are fun slash easy-ish to write because we just look at who's going to be in yeah. the tournament back into it right and then it's like okay uh i have fucking a cactus and duke mm -hmm. in my final four whatever. exactly it's the, that easy one recurring joke idea that i had was uh for connecticut you yep. keep on saying you connect i cut <laughs> and you have a pair of scissors and you just keep on Stop. cutting it. <laughs> just like a, a huge pile of yeah shredded, shredded brackets yeah. Um, and then that made me think of the third or fourth time you do it, you cut your finger really bad. Oh, ah. are you okay? <laughs> yep. So uh, who else you got in the final eight? There's more and more blood every single cut. Uh, Baylor. Fuck, man. I'm really lightheaded. Call I tried to call 911. You grabbed my phone. You grabbed my phone. I cut. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm starting to bleed. <laughs> starting, you won't stop. <laughs> I think you're hemophiliac or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. We already have our runner. Yeah, that's the runner. Uh, then, of course, we just look up team names, who's probably going to be there. I mm. got some great names in the standings, the top 25. Actually, do you know UConn is the number one team in the country right now? Yeah, I did. And we walked the tournament last year. Was there like a game that we didn't win by 10 points? No, it was a, it was an absolute bloodbath. Yeah, it was a it was drubbing. Amazing. That was amazing. Uh, we got some good names in here. Creighton, uh, Creighton. is in the top 15. Um, yeah. Okay, so Creighton, more like Leighton. I don't think they're going to show up in time for their game. <laughs> That's forfeited. Final <laughs> forfeited. Straight to the final four with you. Something yeah. along those lines. <laughs> it always, it's always a rhyme that gets me to a place where a team uh -huh. is in the elite eight. Right. Yeah. Um, Baylor, I'd rather nail her. Right. Uh, I had sex with an assistant coach <laughs> yeah. one day. Right. From the Texas Longhorns. <laughs> <laughs> more blood, <laughs> yeah. more comedy. There's action in that. Uh -huh. uh, Washington. St oh, didn't we do this before? Washington State. No, it's not. Like actually, it is a state. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Washington State. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's two ones that were a right state, or were not. We're a not state. states. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jacksonville State. No, right. it's not. Yeah, yeah. Et cetera, Sacramento et cetera. State. No, no it's, it's not. not. Washington, Washington State. State. That one that. is. Yeah. Really? <laughs> um, so we'll just recycle that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Mary's. Oh, St. Mary's. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Let your plane crash before you get to the Sweet 16. <laughs> what? God, You're praying. I've been a good boy in the name of the just Father, for that Son, blues. and the Holy Toast. <laughs> <laughs> It's a to piece of toast that says Kansas. <laughs> you did that? You burnt that? It just <laughs> came out of my toaster. It's a signal from God. You remember the chicken nugget that looked like Jesus? Uh, yeah. Well, this is a toast that looks like Auburn. <laughs> As in, I burnt it. Yeah, oh, that's good. Like that. yeah, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I don't know if it's good, but it like matches. The yeah, theme, right. You know? It's as dumb as the rest of them. <laughs> good means equally bad. Yeah, in this case, right. You have to just be insane, and you're bleeding out in this episode. So Purdue. The, the more unhinged, the better. Purdue. Purdue. <laughs> how to Purdue? Oh, how to Purdue there, partner? <laughs> Hand just bleeding a lot. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> You've ruined the sofa. <laughs> All you care about is the sofa. <laughs> Jesus. How do we get special effects for this episode? CGI, uh, CGI for AI. Interesting. Do you think that if we upload <laughs> a video of you, mm. we can ask AI to put in blood everywhere? I can't because I don't have access to these really advanced AI softwares. Right. But next year, we probably could. That's awesome. Actually, next year, we could probably just write Jake and Amir, March Madness 10. Yeah, it'll spit it out. out. Yeah. That's great. Uh, but it will, will it be able to come up with, with an Purdue incredible partner? joke Purdue. about BYU? PU. Yeah, something yeah. like P. Yeah. P. YU. <laughs> <laughs> I've... I shit my pants in addition to bleeding out. Yeah. 
or something about the idea that they're all Mormons or something. Because oh. BYU is, you know, specifically right. Brigham Young. Yeah, it's only it's only it's yeah. an all Mormon university. Uh, Brigham Young? Why they bring them so young? <laughs> this team of toddlers is not going to stand up to Kansas City Jayhawks, is it? <laughs> Kansas City, Kansas <laughs> City, the Chiefs. <laughs> How the hell do I have the Super Bowl champ in the final four? Patrick Mahomes doesn't lose. That's the thing. Okay? He's not in the tournament. He's not going to not lose it. <laughs> exactly. Which is why I so, have yeah, him. Brigham Young, you think, that are toddlers. Yeah. That's kind of like they how— They bring them young. Yeah, right. Exactly. Sister wives, something about mm. Mormon polyamory, polygamy. Right. Yeah. Um, UCLA. Uh Oh, U C L A, something like that. Oh, like instead of the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, I was like, I was can, like, you, can see? you see? Yeah. It's the O U C L A. By the dawn's early Creighton. <laughs> Got it. So it doesn't have to rhyme. No. Oh, what about Dayton? Oh. Dayton is sixteenth. Yeah, Dayton versus Creighton. Yeah. <laughs> I have Dayton. Who's versus Dayton Creighton? Creighton. <laughs> <laughs> if Dayton. I'm dating the assistant coach from the Longhorns, who is dating Creighton? I do constantly bring up that I've had sex with an assistant. <laughs> I forget the origin. Oh, was it late? What what school was that where I say I've been having sex? I had sexual relations with that woman. I already can't remember. I think it was Creighton. Yeah, by Leighton. Right. I always forget. Yeah. Well, we'll play this back. Yeah, that's the beauty of doing these uh, taped brainstorms is yeah. that we actually- Tape storm. Yeah, we, we write things down digitally. Uh, University of Houston, second team in the nation. Um, okay. So we've got to come up with something. They're yeah. definitely going to be there. Houston, we have a problem. That's pretty good. You know, um, then why do you have them in your final four? Because <laughs> <laughs> the problem is they're not going all the way. <laughs> Yeah, you do have them. You do have them going all the way. I've lost a lot of blood out <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if what I'm saying doesn't make sense. <laughs> but honestly, usually I'm pretty fucking insane during this time of year. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've rarely made sense in these videos. Videos. <laughs> it was so... I think th I think this is the exact right amount of blood for you not to have. <laughs> You're having a come to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> A come to Jesus moment. <laughs> a come uh, to St. Mary moment. <laughs> uh, and lastly, we have, oh, Duke. Duke is a classic. Right, Fook Duke we yeah. have done, we've done before. Yeah. Um, Duke. Uh, just, uh, Duke, we have a problem here. <laughs> so the Houston one. <laughs> did I say that for Houston? <laughs> yeah, I guess it I made did. sense when you did. Why? Because of Apollo 13. What's that? <laughs> Duke is a fluke. <laughs> Coach K can't get his way. <laughs> Coach K retired two years ago. Coach K went away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, calling Something's good about calling Duke a fluke, how they're, they're only in this one time by, by dumb luck. Yeah. It's like, well, they're, I think they're a staple of the tournament. I think <laughs> really? they win all the time. Duke is a fluke. You realize they're only in this tournament during March? Who's talking about this basketball team in July? I don't know. A lot of people, man. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't follow this sport. I at don't all. think you do. <laughs> By the way, who's even collecting the money and organizing this? Year? I think your wound needs to be cauterized. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> we agree. Uh, all right. Well, let's keep this under lock and key. Yeah. Whether right. this episode comes out before or after the actual March Madness episode will be interesting. Who's I wonder if we can time it during the same week. That'd be perfect. Uh, but if not, now you guys can see how the really, really um, sloppy sausage gets made. Right. That, you, that looked like a brainstorm, but that is a final draft. Yeah. What that we, is pitch perfect. We might just release that as an episode. Yeah. It was me staring at my phone yelling college. Well, we can take the you. audio and then dub it. Put it over yeah. anything, basically. Precisely. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's it. Third segment. Three segments up, three segments down. A perfect game. Amazing. This was our first perfect episode. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. An immaculate up. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, good for us. I mean, we're still like under, how many episodes of segments have we done? 20-ish. 20-ish, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's it's it feels right at the right time to hit our stride. It's impressive. Yeah. But it's I mean, kind of cool. Totally. And I think now we can kind of run this for another 
580, eight yeah, eight 600 or 900, episodes. Yeah, something like that. We should do like one with a guest or something. That's interesting. Right. I don't hate that. Right. Right. I just don't know any funny people. Yeah. Or I don't know any people that would want to come on our show. Because it's sort of small now. Yeah. Nobody like Nobody likes us, us personally. Yeah. So, we're Nobody not. wants to take the time out of their day to yeah. join us. The for stuff that we were just doing, it's like only funny to us and not other people. <laughs> right. Yeah. Not even that many other people. Right. Exactly. Like the dwindling number for sure. Yes. yes. We're basically holding wet sand. Yeah. And as it dries out and falls out of our hand, mm -hmm. we're left with a few with grains. Nothing. Yes. And that's that's all we have. Right. Our empire is a crumbling castle. It's washed away into the sea. It's eroded with the high tide. Yeah. We've come back from this back in alien feast mm -hmm. slash orgy yep. yeah. and to find nothing yeah. at all. And you look out at the sea it's, and all you can see is the emptiness of the vast horizon. And It's the same waves yeah. that anybody can hear. Right. Exactly. We're not seeing it. And that's all, that's it all we feel in our bodies is it, that emptiness, that vastness, that bottomless pit of nothing. Nowhere. No one. We look to the left and it's a shark. Oh! <laughs> You scared me, dude. <laughs> it grabs you with its fin. What the fuck? <laughs> Insane. It was dead. It washed ashore. Now it's muggy. Are you seeing this? <laughs> this is fucking nuts, man. Do something. Uh, okay. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week for more segments, or I should say for more of us. You can check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash JA. Ja. Uh, and for more segments, you can just watch us on our YouTube channel, I guess. Yeah, And exactly. we'll be back next week. Exactly. As always, right on. thank you. Namaste. Good fight and good night. Bye, everybody. That was a HeadGum Original.